everybody. I am getting ready to create um, my index card a day, ICAD, for day 27. Um, I've got a, a, a card that I have put dictionary paper on, and I've stitched around the edges as I've done with all the cards so far. So what I'm gonna do right now is, the first thing is I'm gonna put, I'm using this Lyra stick, which you've seen before, and I'm gonna put some marks on this paper. Okay, now I'm gonna take a pencil and also do some marks. Okay, so that's, I'm finished with that now. I've tried in a lot of ways to do uh, different things for you so I, you know, can share how, uh, what I'm, you know, doing different things anyway, so you get a variety of stuff, just basically what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm going to use, I've got a, um, uh, a jelly plate, and it's, I believe, three by seven or something like that. Let's see, I don't know. It's, um, Well, about six and three quarters that that way, and it's three and a half ish that way. So that's the size jelly plate I've got, which is not quite as large as my card, but it'll give me some nice imprints. So I'm going to use a brayer. I'm going to use some stencils. Actually, just a couple of stencils. I, I don't think it's, this is going to take very much, but anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some paint down on the jelly plate. I've got, um, it's a um, cadmium, cadmium yellow medium hue. Um, it's not going to take that much paint. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna, well, let me take one that I've got down here anyway. I'm gonna do that again. Should not have put it away like I did. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. Put a little bit more on there. That should hopefully do it. Um, so I'm gonna spread it out with the brayer. Just kind of a thin layer. Then I'm going to add a couple of stencils. I wish I could tell you where I got these stencils, but I don't really remember. Um, they're kind of slippery. So I'm going to press them down to get the imprint of the of the uh, stencil. Then I'm going to put them on this deli paper that I've got here beside me and I'm gonna roll it off and I'll get some color from that. So now I'm gonna take my card and I'm gonna kinda of put it down um, sort of centered and see what we get. Je jelly printing is, I don't know, it, I don't always have great success with it, but which is one of these times that I don't have an imprint on here. Okay, so we're going to rethink this a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to put down a different color. This is a burnt sienna, I believe. Yes. We're going to put this down and see if we can get an imprint on top of it. My strings are going all over the place. Okay, so we're going to take these same stencils and I'm actually going to take this deli paper and put it over top of it. 
and rub that. I'm going to try to open this up so I don't get paint all over my hands, which I don't really mind. And it may end up that the, the deli paper looks better than the card. I'm going to try this and see what happens. Got more of an imprint this time, I think, so I'm going to put this part down. And that gives some, it looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to put this on the other side. Okay, so we've got some circles, we've got some squares. And that's what I had intended. And we have a piece of deli paper that can be used to cover a card or some, you know, just use this fodder. Um, and I'm going to take this jelly plate and put it on this again and I believe I can get some more get a ghost print at least on here so that's good still some paint on here I don't typically clean my plates but I have uh, seen demonstrated um, the use of, of um, packing tape putting that over here and the packing tape will pull up everything. And in addition to that, you'll have a piece of, of tape that you can use in your projects as well. But we're not gonna do that today. So I'm gonna take these stencils, get them out of the way. My brayer still has a bit of paint on it, so I'm gonna roll that off on my under paper and then put that away. Paint is going away. Okay, so let me get back and make sure I'm in frame. The next thing I'm going to do is add my tea bag. So I'm going to use this matte medium. The tea bag blows away. I have a fan on because it's I'm sitting in front of the two windows that uh, make the room a little bit toasty sometimes. So I've got a fan on going. And we're gonna put this down. And I'm gonna take my palette knife that I put the matte medium down with and, and secure this tea bag. Okay, so now I am going to um, put my Dina Wakely tape some of these things are things that I'm carrying throughout the project so it's not the same tape but it's Dina Wakely tape is what I've done so far. Put that down. And I'm going to add another piece. I shift it so that they don't line up with the same color. So there is that. Um, I think I'm going to activate this coffee that I've had um, that I used two or three days ago. I'm going to reactivate it just adding water. Um, and I'm going to get a brush and mix it up a little bit. May need some more water. splatter it and when you splatter it tends to go everywhere so just be aware of that I've got some bubbles which I'm gonna try to get rid of but they're not really it's not really a bad thing but so I've got some water there um, I have 
I'll probably... I'll have to dry this. I'm gonna um, put it under the table so maybe it won't be so loud. I need to get a Tim Holtz, a Ranger dryer because they're very quiet. I should, I should get one. Mine works great. It, um, I've had it for many years and um, I, it was all the uh, pig. So the coffee is pretty wet. Um, I hope you're all having a, a great season. Um, it's warm here in the south. I live in Virginia. And um, we've had a good bit of rain over the last few uh, couple of weeks. But uh, today it's it's overcast, but um, very pleasant. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to put a piece of collage on this, I think. This was a paper that, if you remember, a uh, I don't know, several videos ago, I, I put some yellow... I, my paint that I was using, I, I pulled it off with that. So I had this yellow. And then I took my fingerprints and put in some um, black gesso with fingerprints. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do an odd number. Oh, something is, is just more peeling if you use an odd number. Somehow it, I don't know. It, I guess it, that's what it, they say anyway. So I'm going to add this. I think I'm going to put it down here with the with the washi tape. And now the last thing I want to do is to add my word, which is words. You know that old saying, uh, sticks and stones can break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's a dumb saying because words can hurt a lot. It's like um, love is never having to say you're sorry. You won't have a good relationship if you can't express um, regret for having done something and actually say you're sorry. That's not a good relationship. That was in Love Story, the movie Love Story, which unless you're old like me, you won't remember. But that was the line from the movie was, love is never having to say you're sorry. And it is not a true statement. You need to say it. So what I'm saying with this words, words can hurt. We have to choose them um, carefully, I think. And with the with social media, we can, you know, people can get away with saying whatever they want to say, um, even though it might hurt someone's feelings. So, anyway, that's my <laughs> that's my preaching for today. Um, words can hurt. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.